welcome to my channel. I've had a lot of requests for a tutorial for my 1940s updo, which is perfect for wearing with military uniforms and also 1940s suits and dresses. If you want to add a hair flower, you can make it a touch more feminine. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Please let me know how you get on in the comments below. So without further ado, here we go. For this hairstyle, you will need the following. A hairbrush, a brush for backcombing, either a normal backcombing brush or a paddle brush, lots of bobby pins, an elasticated sponge roll, and hairspray. So step one is give your hair a really good brush. I use a Denman soft bristle brush, which is really gentle. I use this every day. So now we're going to create our poofs. So the poofs are the two bits of hair at the front that we back comb to create this hairstyle before the roll. So you need to make sure that you've got a side parting. It can be on either side. You can do this hairstyle with a center parting, but it doesn't have quite the same effect. So I would recommend a side parting and I have my parting on my left. So you're going to take a section of hair from the side that your parting is on. To do this, you're going to separate the hair behind the ear and take a section about that thick and then pull it upwards and give it a brush. So I'm going to use my paddle brush for this. So brush it in the direction that you're holding it to eliminate any knots. Then you're going to hold it with your left hand, take your paddle brush or your back combing brush and just give that a tease towards the root. You can back comb it just a little bit or a lot. It really depends on how big you want your poofs to be. So once you've back combed it, you're going to rest it over your hand and just give it a smooth with the brush just to hide any back combing on the top section of hair that you've done. You want it to be back combed underneath, but you want it to be nice and sleek on top. So once you've done that, just give it a quick spray with some hairspray. For the top section, the poofs, I use Elmet. It's nice and gentle and it's easy to brush out as well. For the roll, I use a slightly stronger hairspray, which is a little bit more sticky. So once you've done that, with your right hand, take the section of hair that you're laying over your other hand. So you're going to put your thumb behind, grab that section of hair, then with the other hand, twist it towards your face. So with the other hand, twist it towards your face, hold it with the other hand, and then just push that up, which creates your poof. And then just mess about with it until it's where you want it to be. So that creates the poof. Now under normal circumstances, all of this obviously would be blonde, but uh, current circumstances mean I haven't been able to have my hair colored for three months now. So please do excuse the roots if you're watching this in the future. <laughs> this was filmed in the middle of a pandemic. So you take a bobby pin and then just push it upwards into the section of hair just behind the poof. So I'll just show you there. So you just push that upwards and you're just gonna leave that for now because unfortunately this does have to come down again in a minute and you'll see why. So on the other side, you're gonna do the same thing. Take the section of hair at the front from behind the ear. So I just always use my finger to get a rough guide. Okay, so then you're gonna take that hair up, lay it over and give that a brush. Okay, so now we've got that section of hair, we're gonna do the same as on the other side and tease that towards the root. Now I like this poof on this side to be a bit bigger than the other side. So I tend to go quite high up with this one. And once that's done, lay it over your hand and smooth with the brush. Just until it looks nice and smooth, just any little bits like this, don't worry about them for now. We can sort those out. So give that a spray. Oh, 
hold it with your other hand and then I, I use my right hand for this as well you twist it towards your face again so you just twist it over once then push and the back combing that you've done should mean that that creates a nice shape so then just pin that the same as on the other side but this time we want to keep this nice and secure now this is how it's going to remain so you're going to take another pin and you're going to pin it through the other one like a cross I'll just show you once I've done that so like a cross and then I always just pop another pin on top of that going from above that's just to stop this bit of hair from escaping over that bobby pin so hopefully you can see that now now it does look a little bit messy but it keeps it all secure and once we've got the roll in things get covered up so it looks okay Okay, so that's the poof section done for now. And next we're going to move on to the roll. So take your elasticated sponge roll. And what you've unfortunately got to do now is take out this poof. So you leave the sort of foundations in, it's still back combed, it's still hairsprayed, and you just let that rest. Take your roll, and then you're going to take the elastic, pop that on top of your head, and then you pin the roll from behind. So you just pin right in the middle just to keep it in place for now. Now we take the poof that we initially did and we're going to pin that over the elastic and this just ensures the elastic is kept in place. Okay, so get the poof back where it was. You can feel the elastic under your hand and then you just pin same underneath but uh, over the elastic this time just stops it from slipping down okay take another pin and then cross it over as we did with the other side there you are so that elastic is nice and secure now and on the other side you're going to just pin the elastic into the existing sort of clump of um, bobby pins that you've already put in there you are Okay, so we've got our roll in, take the bobby pin out that's securing it, any bits of hair that are over the top of the roll, just tuck them beneath it for now. So what you want to be able to do is hold the roll up, the elastic securely in place there, and have no hair over the roll at the moment. Okay, so now we're going to move on to tucking the hair into the roll. So I'm just gonna spin round so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully this is in the middle, apologies if it's not. Okay, so you're going to separate the hair into two sections. With the section on the left, just give it a quick smooth, and then you're going to hold the roll and tuck that hair into the roll and pull it all out the other side. Now you can feel where the sponge is and you need to just make sure, try and make sure at this stage it's all covered. If you've got a mirror in front of you, you can see as well by looking. It's good to have a mirror behind too, if you can. Okay, so then you're gonna take the other side, separate that, pop your finger underneath. I always find it helps because then you can hold the hair that's coming through. So you're going to take all that hair, you will have a little fally out bit most probably, and tuck that through. So now you've got two sections of hair that have been passed through. Take that one, the little pesky escapee. Took that through as well. Okay, then you're going to take the hair again from the left side, took that through, covering more of the middle of the roll this time. And then I add that section of hair to the remaining hair on the right and tuck all that through. Sometimes I use a mirror behind, sometimes, to be honest, I've done it so much, I can just feel now where things need to be. Okay, so I can see I've got a little bit of roll sort of hanging out there, so I'm just going to try and spread the hair as best I can. 
over the top of that. It does look a little bit messy at this stage, but don't worry, all the loose hairs and bits that are hanging out, etc., will be covered up. Lovely. Okay, so bobby pins. First thing I'm going to do is pin the middle section. Now I pin it through my hair and then through the roll as well, just to try and make that nice and secure. You can feel there's a crunch when you put the bobby pin through. That means it's nice and secure into the roll. Then I pin the top left. Just try and make sure all that sponge is covered. So pin the top section and then pin the other side as well. Now you want to equally space the rest of your bobby pins. So go halfway between the top and the middle and the same on the other side. And again, halfway between these two bobby pins, halfway between these two. Then keep adding until you feel that the roll is nice and secure. If you're wanting it to last all day, I do recommend a lot of bobby pins. So now give it a quick spray and just smooth up any of those loose hairs into the roll. Spray the back and just keep smoothing it until you can feel that all those loose hairs are safely tucked away. So I've got a little few bits of hair sort of hanging out so any like that I will just tuck behind my ear and this side I've got a little hangy bit there so again I'll just tuck that behind my ear and then I'll usually just give that a quick spray and smooth it so it becomes part of the roll. Okay, I've got a few flyaways up on this poof, so I'm just gonna give that a spray. And smooth. I normally have a few short bits sort of around my forehead. Um, so I've always just got to make sure they're all tucked away and are part of the poof, sprayed in. So there we go, that is the finished hairstyle. So it's perfect for 1940s military wear. So WAF uniform, ATS or American uniforms too. Um, but you can make it a touch more feminine if you want to wear it with a suit or a nice dress. You can add a hat or you can add a nice hair flower. So if you've got a hair flower with a nice crocodile clip, you can just take the crocodile clip and slip the poof in between. It's absolutely ideal for this. And then that's nice and secure and sits perfectly and that will stay there all day. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow. Please let me know in the comments below if you've managed to do the hairstyle or if you're still struggling, let me know and hopefully I can give some tips. Please like the video and do send me any comments that you've got, any requests for any other hairstyles or vintage tutorials. And please subscribe to my channel too. Take care, everybody. See you in the next video. Bye.